Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. I have another collaboration tutorial with Alessandro Bancio and myself. He came up with this great technique where you take a spline and use the new rope dynamics in R26 and we have this ball of splines that kind of releases and makes a piece of text. So we're gonna walk you through that really quick. All right, so I have my text spline right here. And the first thing we're gonna do is add a sweep. So hit Shift C to pull up your dialog here, type in sweep and hit enter. Same with a circle spline. And we're gonna take that circle spline and we'll make the radius two and we'll drop that into the sweep and we'll drag the text spline into the sweep as well. All right, so now we're gonna add our rope dynamics and we're gonna right click on our text spline. We'll go to simulation tags and rope. And one thing that we need to do is go to the tag and make sure this radius of this rope uh, it matches that circle spline so that we don't have intersecting geometry. So we'll make this two, just like the size of that circle spline. All right, so we have our rope set up and if we hit play, it should just fall down and that's because we have gravity in this scene. Instead of going into the settings and changing all the gravity, I'm going to add a simulate simulation scene and we're gonna use this to control the simulation settings. So we can drag this rope spline into the elements so that this simulation scene is controlling that rope and then we're going to change the gravity to zero. So when we hit play, nothing's gonna happen. All right, so now we're gonna make the magic happen with a field force. So we'll hit Shift C and type in field force and make sure we hit this one right here. All right, so if we go to that simulation scene, you can see that under forces, we do have that applied already. And let's move this up and we'll just have it be a little bit bigger so it covers all of the text. And what we're gonna do is change the velocity type to set absolute velocity and we're gonna increase the strength quite a bit to 100. All right, we want this to have some fall off, so we're gonna add a spherical fall off under these, uh, this drop down right here. You can go to spherical field, and let's increase the size so that it covers most of the text here. All right, so we have a field force, and it has fall off using this spherical fall off, and if we hit play, you can see that we're gonna have this sucking in effect of this spline, which is very, very cool. And it's gonna suck it all the way to the middle and it's going to form this little ball right here. All right, from here, what we can do is go to our rope tag and let's go to cache and we'll just click calculate cache. Before I do that, if you go to your simulation scene and you want it to have a bit of a smoother um, render here, we can go to our scene sub steps. We can increase that to say 40 and iterations to two. That way we're just gonna have a bit of a cleaner result and should look a little bit better. All right, so we'll go to our rope tag and we'll calculate our cache here. And you can see that it's going pretty fast. If you're not super happy with the result, what you can do is go back to that text spline and you can add more subdivisions to it. That way it's gonna smooth it out a little bit. All right, so we have our cache done and now you can see that it's sucking into the middle and it's creating this really cool sphere. It looks like I need to add a few more frames to this, but you'll get the idea. So from here, uh, there are a few ways to reverse your cache. What I like to do is just render this out and then in After Effects, you can just reverse it, just flip it, and then it will kind of reveal the text like this. So a pretty fun technique. One last thing that you could do if this is not a high enough resolution, you can take your sweep and you can add this to a subdivision surface. If we put this sweep into a subdivision surface, you're gonna get a much cleaner result as well with a lot more uh, detail. So there you go. That's a really, really simple way to use the new rope dynamics to make a spline reveal. There's a lot of different ways that you can use these principles to make some pretty cool animations. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.